welcome do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe now let's get into the news Bashiru of Oyo, Chief Yusuf Ayola, to take over. Historically, the Bashiru has the final say on the nomination of a new Alafi and its power rivaling the king himself. According to history, the Oyo Empire was a monarchical system which was headed by the Alafi as the king. However, an administrative council and governing body made up of chiefs, the Oyo Messi, served to maintain a balance in power. Members of Oyo Messi was added by a prime minister called Bashirun, which could request the king's suicide by sending him a calabash of parrot's eggs. Bashirun has the power to organize religious festivals in addition to becoming commander-in-chief of the Oyo army, which gave him tremendous independent religious authority. Well, we all see that... It's the Bashan rule that is, is going to take over from the Alafi of Oyo. The Alafi of Oyo has passed on, which came as a shock to many. It was the longest ruling Alafi of Oyo state. He was just he, he was just the one when he ascended the throne. And he reigned for 52 years. And as history would have it, he is the longest ruling a laughing of Oyo. A lot of people have described this man as a great man and it has come as a shock for many as many are trying to still come in terms with the with this loss, with what they've lost. And this would be a loss for a lot of elders in the Yoruba land. It would be a loss for his family. A lot of people are going to feel this. There's a thing that goes that no matter how old somebody is, it will still be felt because at the end of the day, it's a life. And at the end of the day, this person made a great impact in the lives of people he, he was around. He made a life, he made an impact in the life of people of your state. So it's going to be a really great loss, not only for his family, but for his friends, for the people he's ruling, for his community. It's going to be a tremendous loss. But notwithstanding, this man has lived a fulfilled life. He has lived a life of admi admiration. He has lived a, a, a fulfilled life. He was a, he was he was a good man. He he was survived by over twenty children and grandchildren. He was survived by his thirteen wives. He he was a great person, and everyone have have wished him farewell everyone has bidden him farewell saying he should go and rest on because he was a good man at the end of the day he, he lived a life of emulation he lived a life of, of fulfillment if we're going to be honest because this is somebody that was the longest training and laughing if he was doing something wrong he would have been removed from that position but we can see for him to stay in power for so long he was doing something great in Oyo, he was doing something wonderful, and it's it's admirable to see that he lived a good life, a good life at that, and it's going to be a great loss for everyone around him. To be very honest, well, they said we all know the the history. This is something that is that they've taught us in government. They've taught us in history of our land. We know. The, the history of the Yorubas, the history of the Fulanese, the history of the Igbos. And historically, it's the Bashamu that has the final say on the nomination of a new Alafi and his power rivaling the king himself. We all know that the, the, the Bashamu was like a commander-in-chief and he had a say. He, or, he, or he, he balanced the administration, like all these checks and balances and... We all know that he is the one to have the final say on the nomination of a new Alafi. Because no matter what, a new Alafi is going to be announced. A new Alafi is going to be installed because the old one has passed away. We, you cannot just leave the position open. Who is going to rule this community? Who is going to rule these villages? Who is going to rule the or, or, or your state? So a new monarch has to come in place and the Bashiru is the one that is going to have a final say on the nomination of a new Alafin. Well, 
let me the soul of the alafia of oyo the late adeyemi rest in peace he has done a great work he has lived his best life he has done a lot of things well 83 he lived long enough which is admirable to see that he lived long enough to serve his people to do great things for them so may so rest in peace and may the may the lord give is his family the fortitude to bear this loss because it is a huge loss on not only his family it's a huge loss on everyone in Oyo state it is also it has often been learned that Shei Makinde is yet to commence an announcement which he will have to commence he will have to announce the death of their life of Oyo he will have to talk he will have to like give a public address to the people of Oyo state to talk about this new development, this new thing that happened, it saddens everyone's heart, especially the people of your state. It saddens their heart, and I pray that the Lord will give everyone the fortitude to bear this great loss. A lot of people have granted their their condolences. According to Shun, goodbye king, you fought a good fight. Well, yes, he definitely fought a good fight. He was a good king. He lasted in that position for 52 years. That is no child's play. It is not something that any ordinary man can do. So that's to show you that he was a remarkable man. He was a good person. According to Wale, May the Lord grant the entire Yoruba race and indeed Nigeria the fortitude to bear the loss. Yes, I've said it before that the Lord should grant the Yoruba race, the Lord should grant the people of Oyo and not only his family, not only his friends, not only the people in the palace, but also the Yoruba race, also Oyo state because they have lost a, a remarkable man and may, 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 may the lord grant them the fortitude to bear the loss because it's indeed a huge loss it's indeed a, a, a very sad loss one day elvis said great man may his soul rest in peace yes may his soul rest in perfect peace a lot of people are offering their condolences we have Jeannie. she said r.i.p cabeceo R.I.P. to him. Fabiola said, R.I.P. Your Majesty. And Kenny said, R.I.P. The Greatest. A lot of people are offering their condolences and they are bidding him farewell. He should go and sleep well in the bosom of the Lord. He, he has done a great thing as they are laughing. He was a great Alafi. He did a lot of wonderful things. Just imagine 52 years. This is no child's play. It is not a joke. He, he ruled the people well. Because if at all, he had some certain things that weren't right about him. We have the bashing room to checkmate him. But at the end of the day, he came, he fought a good fight, he did a great thing, and he lived his life well regardless. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Well, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And to our listeners, continue to listen and continue to support us. Thank you.